Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another episode of 20 Halloween skull makeup looks that I'm bringing to you throughout October. Today's skull look is this colourful neon one right here. If you want to see how I did this and watch a step by step how to so that you can do it for yourselves then please keep on watching. Okay, so today's inspiration is by Jerry the West. I found this amazing picture as I was scrolling through Pinterest for some inspo. I will link it down below so that you can go and check her out. To start, I have gone ahead and filled my eyebrows in with black that is quite dark compared to my hair colour and skin tone right now, but it will tie in with the overall look. And then I have gone and done just like an over-exaggerated wing. I kind of tried to do like a cut crease. This took me absolutely forever, by the way, hence why I did it off camera. But I tried to like leave some of the lid space clear so I could add some like neon effect to it but I'm finding that the black is kind of just smudging and transferring onto the lid so I'm actually going to fill the whole lot in black. Next I'm going to go ahead and add some lashes. I wouldn't normally add lashes to a Halloween look but this one is more on the glam side so I will do it for the occasion. And as I've got the black in my hand already I'm going to go ahead and start doing the nose underneath the cheeks, the jawline and the mouth work. Now in the reference picture she's only done half of her face but I'm going to go ahead and do the full face. When you come to doing this part here you just want to start at the corner of your mouth a little way up and make sure you go underneath your own natural cheekbone feel your face for reference to find where it is exactly because obviously everyone's face is different don't worry too much about the shape of your teeth as you're doing it in black because we're basically going to define those with the white and then the colour after. So what you want to do is take your brush, make sure you fill in your whole mouth with black and then just kind of shape out roughly where you want your teeth. And then you want to go ahead and fill this whole area in black but don't fill in the teeth just yet. And we want this bit to be super dark so don't water your paintbrush too much so that you can pick up more product. This really makes my face look so pale. Who needs white paint? Having said that, we do need white paint. <laughs> so once the black paint has dried you then want to go in with a very thin brush and some white paint and trace the areas that we're going to go over with neon paint after and basically what that does is kind of put a base down so that the neon paint is a lot brighter on top of it. And when you're tracing the outline you just want to go as close to the black edge as possible but not on top of it. Then I was going to say go over the teeth in white and then fill the middle in black after but I think that could be quite messy. I was a bit worried the teeth were going to get lost in the black had we have filled them in but actually we can just draw them on top in the white so go back over your teeth with some black. <laughs> Now whilst that's drying, we'll pick up the white paint again and we'll go over our over-exaggerated wing. Mm, I did that a bit too much. Don't worry if you do make a mistake though because you can easily go over white with black if you need to. Okay, so now for the teeth. And then with the white paint again, just start underneath the teeth and kind of outline them and then work your line up through the middle here. Okay, and that's the hardest part done. So, whilst I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just gonna to explain to you what neon paint I am using. It's these here, and they're neon body paints that I picked up off Amazon, dead cheap, that do glow in the dark as well, and they're really pigmented. Now, I think I wanna do a rainbow of colors, just like Jerry did, so I'm probably gonna pick up blue, green, yellow, and pink. And with the same brush that I did to do the white, which is now clean, I'm gonna go into each color individually, and trace over the white lines. I'm going to alternate the colours along each line that I do. So starting with the pink, I'm going to do it in all the areas that I want the pink to go. Then we'll move on to another colour and follow on from that, etc. Mm, now I'm trying to decide whether I start this side off with a pink or whether I go into another colour. Ooh, decisions. I'm just going to do the nose whilst I think about it. I still haven't decided, so I'm going to do the eyes. <laughs> I think I'm going to start with another colour on this side, which means I'll end with the pink this side. Made a decision. Finally, cats. <laughs> I can't decide if I want yellow in this or not. I'm going to go with orange instead as my follow-on. Ooh, it's starting to come along. Now, what naturally comes after orange? Must be green, right? 
and then last but not least into the blue so now that i'm finished with all of the color i am going to go back with the black and an even thinner paintbrush and just go and redefine all of the lines particularly around the teeth because they were quite hard to do with color <laughs> And then once you finish doing that, you're done. I didn't bother filming it because I thought it would be quite boring, but basically I just went in with the black and redefined everything, such like the eyes, the teeth in particular, the nose, just to really make the colour pop. So this is it for the makeup look. If you liked it, please give it a big old thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>